What's up guys, it's Fief Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you a player review on the 89 rated Shapeshifters Mares. So if you're enjoying the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let's jump right into this. So as you can see on your screen, we're going to be doing the 89 Cam Shapeshifter Mares that came out very recently. So to start with, 5 foot 10 is his height, very just kind of average height, I like it. It doesn't really, he's not a super short player, like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, but his agility and balance are super high, so I don't really notice an issue with it. Um, High-low, super nice, because I play him at cam, his starting position, so he doesn't really come back much, which I kind of like for my starting cam. Preferred foot, left foot, doesn't really make a difference to me, left foot, right foot, it's all one and the same. And then skill moves, five stars, absolutely perfect, can't get better than that, as you know. And then weak foot, four stars, I mean, it's just, you want a four star weak foot on, on all your players, at least, and that's what you get with him. So as you can see, I picked him up for 270k, like, the day after he came out. So let's see what he's at now. He's about 230, because they came out with those shapeshifters guaranteed packs, so we probably came down a ton during that. So honestly, I didn't lose that much for picking him up so early in the promo. As you can see here, he has 36 goals and 34 assists in 89 games. So that adds up to uh, 70 goal contributions in 89 games. And that is including that in, my, in every single game I've played, I sub him off in the 60th minute. Because although his stamina, 87, is good... He still just gets tired because playing KM is such a rigorous position in the 4-2-3-1, which is the formation I like to play, that he runs around a lot and loses a lot of stamina, so I end up subbing him off, even though he is very good. And then chemistry style, we're going to head over to the stats. I do use Hunter on him. I think it's the perfect chemistry style for him. It works out really well for his stats. So we're going to be looking at his stats with the Hunter. With the Hunter, 99 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. He's absolutely rapid on the ball. He's amazing. After that, we get 93 attack positioning, 90 finishing, 98 shot power, 89 long shots are all those key shooting stats. His finishing's unbelievable. He feels just as good as any other player I've used on this game in terms of shooting. And then the things where he really thrives, passing and dribbling, he is absolutely amazing on the ball. I feel like I can just dribble circles around my opponent when I'm using this guy. He's just unbelievable, and one of the big factors in that. 96 agility, 90 balance, 94 ball control, 94 dribbling. He just has the ball on a string when he's moving around. I feel like no one can take the ball off me. So obviously, Kanzu's card, basically he's just really, really weak. So any center back comes up on him, tries to dispossess him, he's probably going to get dispossessed and bodied off the ball unless you kind of do a quick turn away, use that ball control skill moves to get away from a defender. So basically the only con with him is that as a cam running around a lot, 87 stamina is good, but he's not going to play the full 90 minutes at a cam position. And then he's just a very weak player in terms of strength. So this is pretty much everything. In our formation, this is exactly how my foot champ squad sets out. So I'm going to be playing him exactly how I always use him in the cam position right here in the 4 2 3 one. Um, I think my cam, I just, I have it on all basic instructions. So that's that. So that's Mares, that's how we play him, that's what we do with him. So we're going to go get into a Division Rivals game and show you guys what he's all about. Hopefully we can get a win for you. Let's see, we're still in Division 5, climbing the divisions after we relegated ourselves to divisions while we were getting that 88 OC men. So let's go ahead and search for an opponent here. Okay, hopefully we can get a game in as late, let's see, 12.30 my time right now. So UK, 5.30, West Coast, West Coast isn't too late, we can hopefully get a game there. But yeah, Mares, he just, he's so good, as you can tell by his goal contributions, he's amazing. And not only does he get subbed off in the 60th minute, when I was getting OC men, I killed my player stats just because... Every time I would go down 1-0 in a game in Div Rivals, I would just quit out. And then including all the games where I quit out just to drop divisions. Uh, this guy here is an interesting team. Ashley Young at camp, I assume, gets subbed out. Um, center backs, goalkeeper are amazing. Outside backs aren't the best. Obviously, I have that Juan Bissaka too. He isn't the best. 
left back. Um, he had Alexander Arnold off chemistry. Don't know about that. So here we are jumping in. We go defensive to switch our formation up. This guy's pausing, so he's definitely going to be bringing that Ashley Young out. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully bag a couple goals. Oh, there we go. We find Mares. Show off. Show off a little bit. Ooh. Good work from Mares there. Courtois gets a hand to it. Deflects it wide so we aren't able to pass it across goal for the easy tap in. Now, Ashley Young looks like he has moved to a more defensive position, not playing Cam. So if he keeps this guy in the game, I will be surprised. Also shocked that I get a yellow card there. Don't know about that one from the ref, especially this early in the game. On the bench, let's see. He doesn't have anyone, it seems like. I don't know any of those names. So unless they're just like off-league kind of weird ones. Let's see what he does here. Where's Ashley Young? Is on the right wing, so... He's definitely going to be bringing someone on. I just... Oh, he's got Bernardo Silva. One, I'm stupid. Didn't even notice that. So he'll probably he'll just be bringing on Bernardo Silva onto that right camp spot. For Ashley Young, I assume. Oof. Almost got there with Mares. I can already tell this guy... He knows what he's doing. He's just playing some possession, feeling the game out right now. We get the ball with Mares there. Quick skill move. Let's see if we can break into some space here. Ah, passed it right to him. Don't know what I was thinking there. Ooh. This guy's getting a little reckless with the ball. Yeah, we... I feel like it's not terribly difficult to get possession off this guy. Although, this is my first game of the day, and I am giving it right back to him every time. Like so. There we go. Let's get rid of that. This should be an interesting game. I am really just playing poorly right now. Wow. We just need to get Mars and De Bruyne on the ball in space, and I feel like I could pick this guy apart. If I can just get get down the line, get some some lacroquetas going. There we go. We'll get Mars in some space. See if we can find Sané out there. Back into Mares. There it is. Gets a little bit of a body on Mares, and he's just got no chance. Gosh. I pick up the ball in a good position there with Mares, and I just pass it straight to the guy. It's fine. We can go ahead and figure this out. We just need to get a goal. I can't let this guy score first because I feel like then he's just going to pack it in. I feel like he knows he doesn't have much of a chance here if I stop giving him possession every time I touch the ball. Just need to be smarter when we're on the ball here. There we go. Get a good run in. Sané. Mares. De Bruyne. Oh, good save. Don't really know what the right shot would have been there. But we do find Mares here. Oh, it's a good save there. I should have gone near post with it. As you can see, Mares quick on the ball in the box with those drag backs. Let's see if we can... Oh, he clears that one off the line. Let's get this to an attacking player. <laughs> Bernardo Silva. Oh, it's a good goal there. Mar is not involved there, but he earned us the corner that eventually led to us getting the goal. Bernardo Silva strokes that one home from just inside the box. 1-0. Maybe this guy will kind of break out of his shell a little bit more, kind of make this more of an open-ended game. When I play Div Rivals, I am just all out attacking. Like, there's just no defending. Ooh, Mara's good interception there. Good ball in. Let's see if we can get the ball back to him. Oh, my gosh. I should have taken another touch. The thing about having these good players is I feel like I learn a lot more about the game because I know, like, it's not their fault when I do something stupid, like, miss that kind of chance. Like, Mars has always been such a good finisher for me that when I do that, I know I'm just, like, doing something very stupid. <laughs> See what we can do here. Wow, we did not get that interception there. We got to block off this pass here. Oh, man, that's a tough one to concede. 
I miss an easy chance, and then he comes down, buries a finesse shot off the post. This is definitely going to be an interesting game. I feel like I should be getting the win, though. So, here we go. Get him a little off balance here with some skill moves. See what happens. Yes, now we're opening up some space. Ooh, Mares. Quick feed there. Ooh, almost got it. Got the return pass to him. Let's get that tackle in. There we go. Quick passing. Mares. Oh, Mares opens up the Nessus that into the near post. As you can see, that finishing is perfect. He's quick on the ball, gets the ball out of his feet nicely. 2-1, Mares gives us the lead in the player review. Let's get another look at this. It's perfect. Courtois has no chance. Gets that top corner. Mares, 2-1. Let's go. If we can get this to 3-1 before halftime, this guy might be leaving the game. Because he's just getting dominated. I just feel like he hasn't really been in the game. Just can't let him score another one here. Let's get some couple quick passes here. Wow, I should have should have done a through ball there, but gotta get that. Come on. Again. Oh good tackle there. Now we got Mara's in some space. Let's trigger that run. And send him. Oh, he ran into the defender, so. Ooh, Mara's. Make that run. There we go. Oh, don't see those are the positions where I'm just trying to get the ball out of Mars's feet because if Sergio Ramos is able to get his body onto Mars, Mars is just going to get sent off the ball. His strength is just terrible, but I mean that's just kind of the what you give up to have a player with the kind of skill, agility, balance that Mars has. So he's just going to give me the throw up the field, which is interesting. Ooh, spotted that run. Good ball from Mares. See what we can do there. Get one into Mares here. See if we can... Mares! Oh, Courtois with the fingertip save. Let's just whip this in, see what we can do in the 45th minute. Oh my goodness, McGinnis taking that on the weak foot and just... Made a mess of it. Dang, we had a good, decent chance there with Mares. Maybe I should have powered it near post. But 2-1 at halftime, as you can see by the stats, we're dominating this game. Mars has been good so far in this game. He's got He got the goal to put us up. Yeah, I mean, as you can see by all those, he's kind of putting together a good game right now. Got the highest rating other than... Ooh, I mean, McGinn, Pogba, Silva... CDM's just putting in the work right now. I feel like we're going to be fine, though. Mares can bag us another one. It's just kind of this, the space he, he opens up because of his ability on the ball. I feel like it kind of just makes every other player around him better. It's a weird one. Got to get a tackle in here. There we go. Get Mares through here. Oh, I thought I had him. Took one extra touch at one point there, and I just had to turn around to regain possession, and then the ball wasn't on anymore. Oh my goodness, his keeper is out. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what is going on here? I don't know if he like accidentally did that, or if that was just dumb luck. He just pulled his keeper out. <laughs> but I mean, hey, to each their own. Maybe he just thinks he's going to struggle here to kind of stop me when I'm pulling possession around his defenders like this. It's a skill move there. First into the space. La Croqueta. Oh, if we pulled that ball roll, we had three on two in the box. It was good night. Oh, here we go. Mares. See if we can find Pogba there. We can. See, I'm just making bad passes right now. Bad decisions. And then he's countering off those well. 
He's taking advantage of the opportunities that I'm kind of handing to him. <laughs> oh, wow. That's kind of well done from Uba Makano. Kind of get his foot in there to ruffle Daniel James, it seemed like, but not get a foul at all. There wasn't really anything in that. Oh, a nice give and go there. Now we got some space. Got to get off the defender. And then Mares. Oh, cleared off the line. And then it goes to De Bruyne. Mares takes the shot, cleared off the line. And then De Bruyne gets the rebound. I'm just not sure what he thinks he's doing with his keeper there. Just, <laughs> just doesn't really make too much sense. But we'll, we'll let him do his thing if it means us going up 3-1. Again, this is usually the time I'd sub Mares off because his stamina isn't the best, so we moved De Bruyne back to can bring a striker on. But for this player review, we are going to leave Mares in because we just want to play with him the most, show you guys what he's about. Is this guy just... Okay, he's, he is going to play. I thought he was just going to sit there. I was like, man, that kind of ruins it. <laughs> Dang, he really got called for a foul there. Did catch his foot when I went in, but did not think I would get called for a foul. You can notice there, like, his players just didn't lock on to the ball. <laughs> it was weird. Ooh, unlucky there. Twice in a row got unlucky with those deflections. Let's see if we can put some pressure on here, win the ball higher up the field. I feel like we've been winning it further back in our area a lot and making a lot of clearances. Hopefully we can win the ball in more dangerous areas and then kind of have counterattacks build from that. I wanted Pogba there, to be honest. Good save from Lurie. We pull him out there to close the angle off, and he does well. Oh, here we go. Find De Bruyne here. Hit him with a little drag back from Mares. Oh, I thought I could pull it back to Sané. I should have done, actually turned around with De Bruyne so I could kind of find Sané much easier. Would have been a goal there. All right, here we go. Get a little possession going here, see what he's going to do about it. Struggling here to break into the box. I feel like he just defends weirdly. Like, he doesn't really bite on anything. And we find Mares back near post. Mares for one perfect finish. We find him back. He takes the touch to set it up, and he's just not going to miss that one. Another goal tomorrow, 73rd minute. We take a 4-1 lead. As you can see, he's just clinical. Look at the hit. Lifts it over 9 goal, and Courtois is nowhere near it in goal. And we just keep going. Oh, I thought Mares had the interception off the kickoff. We would have been going the other way fast with him. There we go. Good tackle from Upa Makano. Again, we get Mares on the ball here. Let's find De Bruyne. Now we're opening up a lot of space. His defense is struggling. Oh, he brings a keeper. <laughs> I went for the early chip there. I probably could have just shot and had it go in, but he's getting a little bit reckless now with his keeper. He's just kind of doing whatever. Let's see if we can get an interception here. Oh, read it there, but... He does get it past Bernardo Silva. Now we need Juan Visaka to come up big. This is one player I hate playing against is Kent. This dude gets subbed on in foot champs and just scores every single time he plays. Let's go out this. Get the ball out wide. Maybe we get a little give and go going here with the left back. Oh, no. I went for the give and go with the left back and didn't come off. So now we are in a oh wait, rough position. He's offside there, though. All right, we get 10 minutes left. Let's see if we can get one more goal. See if we can get Mars on the ball. I'll show you guys a little bit more what he can do. It is tough, though, with the cam. They get on the ball a lot, but I feel like they don't really get a ton of goal contributions because this formation is based so much on the wide play. As you saw, with Mars' as one goal, that's the way he does get a lot of, a lot of goals, can be uh, just kind of hanging out in the center area because with the formation being... So much the attacking play being based so much on the width, you are cutting in a lot with the outside cams and then just trying to square the ball into your other players. What? I am just not playing well. Good thing this guy's not a very good player. 
We're up 4 1, and we're just struggling. Let's see. Come on, Sane. There we go. A little 1 2 action. Ooh. If I'm thinking a little more there, I just hold the ball one more, let him go, and then play that through ball, and we're clean through. All right. Mara, can, Mara's perfect ball into Sane. Let's just ship that. Oh! 90 in a minute. What a goal. And you get a rage quit there. Mara's plays a beautiful ball through to Sane. This guy pulls his keeper out, and I just dink him from a, what seemed like an impossible angle. I thought there was no chance I'd make it, but pulled it. So we do win 5-1. Mara's gets two goals and an assist. 9.1 rating, 5 out of 6 shots on target, 25 out of 30 passes, 32 out of 38 dribbles, 1 out of 1 tackles. And as you can see there, minus 6 fitness just because that cam position, again, just uses so much energy. So 5-1 there, just big. As you guys saw, Mars is an absolute beast in that cam position. You just can't beat him. So right now, he is around the 230, 240k range. I feel like that is such a good value for this card. I feel like there's tons of cards that come out that people kind of, they get excited about them when they're un, like untradeable SBC cards. And they'll, they'll be like a 350k player that you can never sell. But then a card like this comes around and I feel like he just kind of gets ignored. So I think he's great value, perfect player. As you guys can see, they're absolute beast. I've used them in 90 games now. Consistent starter, big contributor to my weekend league, and I highly recommend him. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. Thanks for watching.